The five T's of Japanese encephalitis. Type. Japanese encephalitis is a usually mild or asymptomatic viral disease with less than 1% of infected people actually developing clinical illness. For those who do become ill, symptoms include headache, fever and vomiting, with neurological symptoms developing over a few days due to inflammation of the brain. Approximately one in four of clinical cases are fatal and survivors can be left with long-term neurological problems. It is found throughout Asia and parts of the Western Pacific, where it is the leading cause of encephalitis. Transmission route. The virus is transmitted to humans through the bite of infected Culex mosquitoes, which usually feed throughout the night, both indoors and outdoors. Humans are a dead-end host, as they do not transmit the virus back to mosquitoes. Instead, the virus exists in a transmission cycle between mosquitoes and vertebrae hosts, predominantly pigs and or wading birds. Treatment and prevention. There is no antiviral treatment for Japanese encephalitis. Treatment is supportive to stabilize the patient and relieve symptoms. An effective inactivated vaccine is available to travelers at risk of the disease, which is given as a two dose course over one month. A more rapid course can also be given when time is limited. All travellers should take standard precautions to avoid mosquito bites. Travellers' risks The risk to most travellers is very low. Travellers spending extensive time in endemic areas, especially during transmission seasons, are at higher risk. This risk is likely to be increased for those spending time near water sources where mosquitoes breed, especially if the vertebrae hosts are present nearby. This can be in rural, peri-urban or even urban areas. Basic accommodation is more likely to allow mosquitoes to enter. Take home message. Japanese encephalitis is a rare but potentially fatal viral disease and treatment is supportive only. It's transmitted by mosquitoes that usually bite throughout the night, with risks higher for longer term travellers and particularly those participating in certain outdoor activities. It's vaccine preventable and all travellers should use standard mosquito bite precautions.